This is the Nerdax Gamma, mining Bitcoin at a whopping 1.2 terahash a second while only consuming 17 watts of electricity. I can basically plug this in anywhere where I've got some power. That's by using the BM1370 ASIC chip, which is a dedicated computer chip just for Bitcoin mining on the SHA-256 secure hashing algorithm. This costs less than 200 US dollars. It also costs less than 200 euros. It comes with a power supply, five voltage at five amps. Utilizing the TTGO T-Display S3, it gives a full color display of not only your Bitcoin mining hash rate, which mine out of the box is punching above its weight class. On average, getting an extra 60 giga hash a second of Bitcoin mining hash rate without even overclocking it. Staying cool at 73 Celsius and always getting a real time readout of all the data you could ever want. My Nerd Axe in particular has a Noctua fan, which I absolutely love. Big fan of the aesthetic of these. They're very powerful and they're notorious for being very quiet. This fan is spinning over 5,000 RPMs and yet you could never hear it. So yes, this is a silent Bitcoin miner. And yes, it's mining wirelessly over Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz a second to be precise. I'm mining Bitcoin. Again, hashing at 1.2 terahash a second, this Nerdax, which is an official fork, open sourced, enhanced version of a Bitax mini Bitcoin miner, has a less than one in 5 million chance per day to hit a Bitcoin block, which honestly, those odds are not that bad. Giving me a chance of about one in 13,000 per year to hit a Bitcoin block with this, where I would earn $277,000 right now and that's before accounting for the additional bitcoin fees you get on top of that 3.125 bitcoin block reward that happens like clockwork about every 10 minutes i computed this using sololuck.com it's a tool we here at voscoin made that's free and will give you a real-time readout of your odds to hit a block solo mining which a small Bitcoin miner did just last week. And about two weeks ago, another Bitcoin miner hit a block solo mining with an older version of a Bitax. This Nerdax is three times more powerful than the guy that solved the last block, quite literally winning the lottery for the hardest money in human history. Yeah, that's Bitcoin. Cue the sailor clip where he says, there is no second best. There is no second best. Hey, you want to buy a mining rig? Do you want a pretty good price on it and pretty fast shipping? Then you may be looking for ASIC Marketplace. Click our link in the video description below to not only support our channel, but support yourself with the coupon code we've got right next to it. Would you want to see a video guide on how to easily and quickly set up your own Bitcoin mining node so that you would be solo mining to your own node instead of, say, using a solo mining pool? You can, of course, use a collective mining pool where you get paid out in small amounts of Bitcoin every day or whatever. But to be honest, it's just not really the point of small devices like this. If you want to earn a little bit of Bitcoin every day, you should just simply be looking at full size Bitcoin miners. That's what's generally done with those these days. If you're looking at a way to decentralize the Bitcoin network, make it more anti-fragile than ever before, and take your shot at basically winning $300,000 approximately of Bitcoin, which again, forget the dollars, more importantly that you'd get over three Bitcoin, potentially, right? If you're lucky, then that's where I really see the value in these. These nerd axes are so cool. They are, in my mind and opinion, like a 2.0 version of a bid axe. They're different. And depending where you get them from, they don't even cost more. This is my nerd axe. And look at the retail like ready packaging they have. Sorry, we cut some holes in drywall in here this week installing the Tesla charger. Ah, drywall, very love-hate relationship there. Anyway, nerd axe, right? 
This is the Gamma version, uh, which is the BM1370 chip, which is much, much more powerful than the uh, version here on uh, the box, which was the older uh, BM1366 amp miner chip. We look at this, mine came with no case here from Bitronics, Noctua fan, which I just love. And this is before they had their new packaging, so they couldn't even check Gamma because uh, they just released the Nerdax Gamma. This is the open source Bitcoin mining revolution. If somehow you ever get sick of the screen, I don't know how you would. You can just click it off. It also has different screen options. So for example, I click the bottom button. And now I've got all this information. I don't know why the Bitcoin ticker is not working right now. But it's a Bitcoin price ticker. This is my favorite screen personally. You can see my uptime on this is steady for over two weeks. Pmax SD, the key developer here for Nerdax, says that if you're using the Nerd QX and maybe some of these other versions as well for like the Nerd QX++ and even potentially Nerdax, as he doesn't explicitly say that here, do not use automatic fan control with the firmware versions prior to 1.0.27. The other one don't use it regardless. If you're worried, just set it to 100. It'll consume a little extra power, which is virtually nothing. And then you can fine tune it from there based on your overclocks or standard, essentially clock settings, your ambient temperature and everything in between. If you have specific questions, make sure to head over to the BossCoin Discord server. We've got incredible community, people eager to help, as well as the dedicated OSMU or basically the BitX bro. And I say that is a term of endearment, not hate. Discord server, very active. A lot of good guys and tinkering going on in there. And you may notice my nerd axe is sitting on something. Yep, <laughs> it's sitting on two nerd miner V2s. Uh, these are the Bitronics versions, the micro miner. And it comes with this little case uh, utilizing the same display. But what's crazy is this display is basically the miner here too in this case these are fun and very cool but very much like a novelty i would say these have a micro tiny chance to ever hit a bitcoin block whereas these nerd axes and just bit axe gammas and so on have a real tangible shot at hitting a bitcoin block this is a fun gift stocking stuffer this is a device if you're a bit more serious you'd call yourself a big believer in Bitcoin and its underlying technology and value. Previously, I measured the power draw of this device. I know I need to clean my workbench up here. I was cleaning some stuff this weekend. Uh, but anyway, I apologize for the clutter. And I don't wanna unplug it because we got nice uptime here, at least right now. But you can see at essentially max fan speed over 5,000 RPMs, I'm pulling around 20 watts, which is a little over uh, the estimated power draw, uh, which is fine. Uh, it's not estimated that you'll be running this at full speed necessarily. These boards are customized. You can see that, yes, it is a Bitax Gamma board, but it has Nerdax printed on the PCB there. A little heat sink on the backside. And remember, this utilizes a single Bitcoin mining ASIC chip, which is under this gold heat sink under the major fan, which is providing the majority cooling for this device. This was an early release model, so I don't even have a 3D printed case for this. You don't have to have one, but you do have the option to check out on that uh, with Bitronics on their site. Uh, I, I love these. I've been really impressed with their products and their customer service, which, hey, by the way, I'm Bosk. You're on the Bosk on YouTube channel. Uh, I did open an affiliate account with them, uh, so you can punch in code BOSCOIN to save some coin if you want to grab one of these. Uh, we have found them to be one of the absolute, if not the best, provider uh, for the Nerdax lineup that we found in our research and testing so far. So if you think this is cool, this is the place to get one of these. They also sell the Nerd QX and the Plus model variations, which is basically a bigger, more powerful version of the Nerdax, including using the very cool display. That's what really makes the Nerdax a Nerdax. It's gonna be this display integration. This display makes it a Nerd Axe over a Bit Axe. And then the Nerd Q Axes are bigger. They have more ASIC chips and thus 
they have a higher Bitcoin mining power hash rate and simply odds to hit a Bitcoin block, but costing more in order to do so. And if you don't care at all about the screen novelty, Bitronix also makes simple Bitax gammas. So they sell normal gammas, they come in cheaper than a Nerdax, and they have similar configuration options from a stand-up base to a whole to a 3D printed enclosure to a standard versus Noctua fan, uh, and then what ASIC chip is in there. Bitax gammas are pretty standard across the board now, especially for single minor ASIC chips. I've covered this in other videos, but here's a quick insert on how to set up your Bitax or your Nerdax. Uh, it's the same either way. If you're running into the issue where you connect to the Nerdax or Bitax Wi-Fi network and you don't get pulled into the screen where you input your Wi-Fi credentials and your Bitcoin mining address and your other information, go to this basic subnet of 192.168.4.1 and that should bring you into it. And you just punch that into a browser on your phone or your laptop or whatever. Definitely pulling some extra juice here at 100% fan usage. But to be clear, it doesn't need to be turned up that high. So I'll adjust that down in the settings and find the sweet spot. Going from 100 to 80, 27.5 watts, 5,100 RPMs. Just click save. And click the three lines, click restart, make sure that that change we're gonna see that ramp down. We're gonna watch the power fall as well. If you want this power meter, I'll drop a link down to it in the video description below. It's one of the more expensive ones, but it's supposed to be higher quality and higher rated. Also drop, you know, cheap old kilowatt down there too if you wanna grab one of these just for fun or tinkering or just, you know, really understanding what your power draw is at the wall because your power draw here at the wall is gonna be what you're building on. On such a small wattage, it doesn't really matter. But again, if you're chasing the best efficiency settings, it's better to, instead of relying on what it says you're doing here on the screen or in the dashboard, to just simply measure it at the wall in real life from your settings here on your bid axe or your nerd axe to the efficiency and potential efficiency loss of whatever power supply you're using. This gives you the true accurate picture. Uh, but yeah, this is another outstanding unit. Yes, I have a serious Bitcoin mining farm, at least in my opinion, but I'm having a blast reviewing these little mini miners. They're cool, they're fun, they're decentralizing mining, and a full-size Bitcoin miner, unfortunately, is just not for everyone. However, something like a Bitax Gamma or a Nerdax, open source mining hardware, open source mining software. You can DIY these at home if you want to or just buy one and it's basically plug and play Bitcoin mining. This is hands down one of the best things ever to happen to Bitcoin. And if you don't see the value in that, then you need to do more research. And if you want someone to speed run your research for you, subscribe to the Bosque on YouTube channel. Again, hey, I'm Bosque. Uh, we have all kinds of crazy crypto content, definitely rooted in passive income and Bitcoin mining and try, trying to deploy my capital, chasing financial freedom. And uh, above all, we got our SEO, Super Cutie Officer, Tales of Osk. We are in 10 seconds of Tales on every video. Let's close this out in style. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, let me know any questions you have down in the comments below. We're always checking back. And if you grab one of these, I'd love to hear a follow-up from you. If you like it, if you don't like it, why, whatever, you know, good, bad, ugly, I'm here for it. Hope you're having a good one. I'll see you next time.